Good morning. How you doing? Hey, it's Saturday. I've still got dripping wet hair, you know, but here we go. Um, I'm here because I want to talk about lots of things that have been coming up morning, morning, um, about digital products, online programs. Do I launch a membership? What shall I do? How do I, how do I move forward? Morning, morning. It's a big old question that I hear all the time from my clients through conversations and especially at this time we're all looking for answers. We're all looking what the next level, the next stage, the next chapter of our business work looks like and how it's going to work I guess and um, I wanted to do a little mini training about it and because I've got lots to say on it as you can imagine. Um, but what I want to talk about firstly is that over the years, the way that I've experienced things in my business, I've actually invested morning, morning a lot in my business in lots of different forms. And I am still a bit of a child of the 80s and the 90s who is like, isn't the internet brilliant? Like I grew up with Encarta 96, fax machines, um, yeah, all of that stuff. And the fact that we can do so many things on the internet, it still absolutely blows my mind. So I guess to start things off, whatever you're experiencing at the moment, wherever you're finding your blocks or you're just not sure how or which way to kind of move forward, there will be a way for you to make this work. And that's kind of what I want to start with, that everything I'm going to be sharing is things that I've had personal experience about because that's what's really helped in terms of my business. Like when I go in rather than go out, that has been really fundamental to my growth because what also can run alongside this thing of like, I don't know whether to do a membership, do I do, how do I package this up, what happens? There can be all these things that are floating around like the trends and so many times I will look at the trends and go, I see how that works on paper. Like I understand the numbers. Like you, I, I can do the multiplications of like, get this number of people in the room, times it by what you're charging. And like, I can see how that would work. But ultimately, if you want satisfied customers, if you want consistency, if you actually want to enjoy what you do, this is a really big thing for me. Like I don't crave stress, I don't crave um, drama or like being all the things to all the people. Actually, I want ease and flow in my life. Um, I much prefer when I can work from that point of view. So that's kind of where I wanna to start today. I'm not gonna be talking about trends. I'm not gonna be saying like, this is the next thing that you've gotta jump on the train of because if that's not gonna work for you, then it's not gonna work for you. So I'm gonna give you lots of tools today and then I'll be around to kind of answer questions and things like that if um, you want to know more. Okay, so um, I, the first thing I want to share is I have only launched and created things that I have personally paid for. So I have been making digital products um, since 2014 and it started with an ebook. So um, for many years, I'm a trained actor, I've been an actor for 25 years. Um, I was also an agent's assistant as my kind of out of work acting job for um, five years and then I have my life coach qualification. And I suddenly figured out there was this like missing bit of like, oh my goodness, I could help an actor. Instead of that, just wait for the phone to ring, darling. Um, I know not many of us are very good at doing that. We wanna be proactive. So I wrote this ebook basically. And that was my first foray into passive income. And then since then, what I started to do was to build little digital products, um, online courses, um, live in-person events, um, events online, um, basically anything. Oh, I did a membership for two months. Two months, pals. I had two people in it 
And by the second month, I refunded everybody their money because it wasn't the model. I'm going to go into that a little bit later. Um, so also from the flip side, I have bought so many things. I've bought online courses. I'm currently working with a coach for a year. Um, I've joined memberships. I've done short courses. I've been to seminars morning, morning. I've... Um, gone to things that just didn't light me up in the slightest and I was like why am I here why are all these people shouting why do I have to fist bump strangers um no problem like yeah there have been a lot of things all the time so on one hand I've like really grown in terms of my business and what I've done by investing but also I've invested in some really weird stuff as well but it's been part of the process so that's a really good point of view to start with, when you're thinking about how you're going to uh, perhaps move a little bit from one-on-one -on -one stuff into different things, that's my sort of first tip, I guess, is to only um, launch things that you've personally had experience of. And there have been, in that process, you know, there's been memberships that I've been part of, like elements that I've absolutely loved, things that I've really connected with, things that have really worked, uh, community, all kinds of things. And then there's been some times where I'm like, mm, that just feels a bit badly organized, that just feels a bit weird. So if you have a sense, I guess, of an idea that you want to develop, go and play in some other ponds, go and play in some other things that people are doing, because you'll get to experience that before I guess you take that risk and you go right I'm all in I'm launching this thing I'm gonna do it so that has been invaluable for me morning morning that's it, it's all gonna be on the replay peeps so if you need to go or at any point I mean obviously stay I would love that but um yeah it's gonna be recorded for you morning morning okay um so yes that's my sort of first thing the second thing that I really want to say is when you're thinking about how you're going to make this work in terms of your business, pay more attention to your own lifestyle, your own circumstances, your own personality, your own rhythm of the way that you like to work rather than trends. So for example, I for the most part work like on my own so I do lots of the things I do bring in freelancers sometimes if I've got a big project I will outsource stuff I do do collaboration sometimes but it's not just it's not me and like 20 others and I've got two small children and you know one of them is is reasonably young morning morning so I have to be realistic whatever that means um to you but I know I know what's going to kind of work best for me in terms of my own rhythm. So even though the temptation is like, oh my goodness, everybody's launching a membership, maybe I should do that as well. If something inside you is having that niggle of like, mm, I can't quite get going, I don't quite know what this is, listen to it and pay attention to it. And sometimes it will be like, I've never done that before and I'm really scared and I don't know how to move forward. But sometimes it will be like, is this logistically the best thing that's going to be working for you right now? So for example, I don't do coaching calls at nine o'clock at night because I would literally get on the Zoom call and be like, like I wouldn't have the sense to be able to do that. So really checking in with your own rhythms, your own ways of working, your own personality. And I think sometimes this is the thing is that people think, right, I'll launch this membership. And then they're like, actually, I'm an introvert. I don't know if I should be answering people's questions all day. I don't know if that's going to be the best thing. So pay attention more to what you need from it rather than what everybody else is telling you. The third thing that I want to say is about technology and technology is going to basically tell you or try and convince you already, already, that you can't do it, that it's available for somebody else, that you need to be some tech dude who lives with his mum in Silicon Valley and like is in a corner, like dark room doing all the rest of it. And it's just not the case. We can tell each other all day long that we can't do what we want to do because of the technology, but it's never been easier to 
to create this stuff than it has now. And I always find like if um, I'm on a website or if I'm in the program and I don't know what to do, guaranteed there'll be like a nine year old child on YouTube who's managed to figure it out. I'm like, oh my goodness, he's managed to do it. Um, right, I'm, there must be a way. And I think this is the thing now, there's so many videos, there's ways of doing that. But the thing that I've also learned the hard way is that technology has to feel manageable and doable for you. So um, I'll tell you what I use now, but I'll sort of plot that journey. So when I first started, for example, um, launching my ebook, I sold it through my Squarespace site and that felt really easy. It did feel a bit clunky at the time. This is 2014 and, you know, it wasn't as streamlined as it is now, but it was doable. It was fine. I then started to develop into kind of online programs, shorter programs, things like that. And I had a really great membership for a company and I still think they're really great. I think they're fantastic and I'm happy to answer DMs, but I'm just very um, aware of integrity and I just, you know, I know how hard people work to launch and grow these companies. So I don't wanna be that spammy person on the internet saying like, this is rubbish, and because it's my opinion. But if you wanna ask me a personal question, I'll tell you who, what these things are in DMs, but I'm just not gonna do it publicly. Oh my God, I'm like media trained. I've been watching too much of that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. Yeah, that's another story from a psychological, I mean, there's a lot of madness going on in there, but from a psychological point of view, that is um, highly, yeah, compelling um, and disturbing. Anyway, Johnny, set, Johnny Depp, leave my brain. Okay, we're back in the room. So, the technology side was there are that you have to basically what i've written is write your brief for the technology that you need which i still run my website on and then i moved to that other company and then i got like oh my goodness um <laughs> my dude yeah rosie and i chat about jude law sometimes because i make made a total tit out of myself once when i met him very embarrassing that's another story for another day um so on the technology front i realized that the thing that i was kind of being distracted by i thought i needed it i thought i needed a sales funnel i thought i needed this thing flying in on my website and I got really overwhelmed by it. And also, to be really honest, I was paying a hundred quid a month for this thing. And I wasn't getting enough signups to justify that price. So sometimes what was happening was I was paying that hundred quid a month for the fact that somebody bought my products, you know, a couple of years ago or whatever. And I, I just hadn't got the model right. So even though you wanna be tempted by saying, well, this person, this fancy person who's having a seven figure business is using this piece of technology. If you don't have the time or the headspace to be able to make that work for you and use all the features, just choose something simpler. Choose something that is going to just be much more easier to manage. Because I think this is the thing, going back to knowing yourself if you can go morning when if you can go back to what's going to work for you that's when you're going to sell that's when you're going to move forward and it's going to be easy and it's going to be beautiful and you're going to make sales and people are going to love what you do sorry about the sirens i live in london um anyway so now i'm at a place morning morning where i started using this thing called podia if you want to try it out by the way i've got a code so um just dm me and i'll send it to you afterwards i'm not an affiliate i just use it um and they don't pay me oh do they pay me uh i think if i get a referral code eventually they do but you know I'll send you things and then you can have a look. Um, but basically the thing that I've come to now is this thing called Podia, which has been brilliant. And the way that I got to that point of knowing that A, I would be able to suss it, B, I would be able to use it and it felt like a good investment. So this is really important when you're thinking about your membership, when you're thinking about online courses, is like how many do you have to sell of this thing? Do you constantly have to be marketing? Do you have an audience? Do you have people who are ready and loving what you do and they're ready to buy? I think this is a thing sometimes when people just say, do an online course, it will be amazing. And you know, we've all seen the marketing 
tools, haven't we? Like, I was nothing at home, on the streets, well, not, yeah, previous to that. And now I live in a castle and it's the most amazing thing. And there's all kinds of other stuff behind the scenes, right, that goes into that. We, we know that, like it's very impressive, it's very compelling on a sales funnel. But ultimately, we have to know what's in front of us, we have to know what's possible. So this is how I came to discovering um, the piece of technology that was gonna help me. I wrote my brief. What was my wish list? What was my list of requirements that I needed before making a technology decision? And I'll talk about this in another video, I'm sure. But um, again, if you've got questions, let me know. So for me, I wanted it to be very straightforward in terms of simple and being able to like user friendly. I wanted to be able to upload audios, videos, PDFs and personalize it slightly, but not feel like I had to code it in order to do it. That was just not my thing. I wanted to have a really lovely, like streamlined um, sales page. So I could copy it and it would just be really straightforward. And again, I could customize it, but it wouldn't be all like zoom, 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 all these things. Can you tell I've got a four year old because I've got really good at that zoom, zoom, zoom noise? Um, so also that was really important for me to kind of realize that I needed. I also wanted to have coupon cone codes and affiliate options. So sometimes I do collaborations with people and I just thought that would be really useful to be able to track that. The next thing I also realized was I wanted to get paid quite quickly from um, the the things that I was selling morning, morning. So um, some of these online programs, they have like a 60 day window before you even see the money. And actually like, I wanted to be a bit more in control of that. So I wanted to be able to attach it to my Stripe and that's when, so this is not about promoting this thing, let's get back to it. This, it's again about making the model of how you're doing your digital life, hashtag digital life, um, how you can make it work for your business. So I like that constant flow of cash flow, like that, that, really drives, not drives me, but it like, that lights me up. It makes me feel like I'm in business. I don't want to sell something. And then like some company in California, like is holding on to the money for effectively nearly three months. That just doesn't feel, you know, right. And some, and also somebody else being able to have the content in that way. So if you can go back to writing your brief of what you actually need, it's going to help you so much. And it's not going to become so overwhelming that you're like, I'm never going to be able to suss this technology because you are. Even if like I learned to type from a book, <laughs> my mum had a, a book years ago of like how to learn to type and I, and I did it and I, I learned it one step at a time. I know that there can be this feeling that, oh, we can't do that. We absolutely can, I'm doing it. And if you've got other questions, please ask me about that as well. Also, I'm reading so much about, you know, women, this is a total other aside, but women being shoved out of the mark, uh, the the workplace, them losing money during COVID-19. Like, you can do this. You can absolutely make this work. I'm, I'm telling you, hey, there we go. Right, okay, the next thing I wanna say is, two things of the same size of the coin. Not everybody needs you one-to-one -one, and some people will only want you one-to-one. -one. So there I arrogantly thought that when I started, I was like, oh my goodness, everybody will need me one-to-one. -one. Everybody will need this experience, will need to like be handheld and taken care of in that way, no. There are so many people who have bought what I have put on the internet and they never ever want to speak to me or have any contact with me. They want to do the thing, they want to learn the thing from the comfort of their own home, maybe without a bra, maybe with their baby, maybe in joggers, all of these things. They don't want to be showing up. They don't want to be accountable or having a real life human interaction. So very quickly I was like, oh, okay, so not everybody needs me one-to-one. -one. So there's a space here. There are things that I can create which don't, you know, have me in the room with them. 
Equally, I have some clients, um, re- like I worked with somebody on Thursday and when we had our initial chat, she was like, don't give me an online course. Like, I don't wanna join a thing. I don't wanna do whatever. I want you. I want you for a morning. Can we do this and get it sorted? And again, that was really fascinating as well because with your business and your expertise, your skills, your talents, there will be some people who will only want you. Like, I need you right by my side. Let's do this together. So looking at those two sides of the coin, it's really good to have that robust like one-to-one premium level stuff that you do with people. But then there are so many options that you can package up what you do in a way that's really tangible, that people can experience. Because as I've spoken before, like I'm at a point now where I can work with a coach for a year, like and that that feels the right fit. When I was starting, I t- did every free webinar. I really thought about something if it was £17.99. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can invest. And I just felt like I was consuming all the content all the time. And equally, there's nothing wrong with either of those. But knowing what you need from that point of view will help you as a kind of a seller, a purchaser in that way. But also, I bet there are so many things that people ask you all of the time that you can charge for, that you can give them that doesn't require your time. And I've told this story before, and it is a bit like, well, I wasn't wasn't thinking about it at the time, but basically I had my son in 2015, and I had my daughter in 2019. And when my son was nine pound 10, And the labor started on the Sunday and he was born on the Wednesday morning. And smugly, by like when by Sunday afternoon, I was like, oh my God, he'll be here tonight. He wasn't, it was like another 72 hours. But one thing that I realized was that during that time when I was in the hospital in all kinds of pain and strife, let's just say, I sold two ebooks, which I think came to 18 quid. And that paid for my taxi to the hospital and back. And it wasn't like Matt was saying like, right, you, before you go to the hospital and you have this baby, you've got to sell some ebooks, like you've got to hustle, you've got to do that. But it was really interesting seeing that exchange, like in my head, I was doing something completely and utterly different. Like I was not thinking about my customer service skills, let's just say that. But I was thinking about having a baby, but it was only until I kind of pieced that together. Equally, when I was having um, Luna, um, I, I sold a course when I was like having her. And yeah, it's it's really interesting what you can do. Because on the flip side, what will happen sometimes is and I think this is the clue that, that you might find. I bet you're asked the same thing a lot. Can you just help me with this? Can you advise me with this? Have you got a free 15 minutes just to go th- through this? Can I ask you a quick question in your DM? And if you're starting to notice those patterns again and again and again, it's trying to tell you something. Something is happening, something's brewing there where you're like, all right, I need to package this together. I need to do this. So the people who are not necessarily ready for you to invest one-to-one, you can give that. And whether you give that as a free gift, whether you charge for it, however you want to package it, there will be so many different, there'll be so many different ways that you can give your services. And again, going back to that point, of not everybody needs you one-to-one and some people only want you one-to-one. Having this really robust, lovely pricing menu um, will be a great thing. The next thing that I want to say is, one sec, let me just hang, hang about, hang tight kids. I'm right here. I don't want to lose you and I don't want to lose this video. Oh my God, it's like challenge Annika, isn't it? Because my children have left all this stuff everywhere. All right, are you still with me? Here we go. That's it. Beautiful. Okay, now I've got to hold the phone. You can still hear me? Okay, brilliant. (laughs) I am like challenge Annika. I'm in the helicopter, guys. I'm here. Um, Anyway, (laughs) laughing at my own jokes. Beautiful. Okay, so the thing with this stuff, thank you. The thing with this stuff in terms of pulling together what you're doing and going online with it, 
the best piece of advice I can give you is to really consider what is the solution that you're providing. And this has been absolutely key because especially if people are purchasing without you being in the room, they need to know what they're getting. And there's no sort of, I don't know about you, but like sometimes I've purchased stuff because like I was in the shop and it just like made me feel nice. Or I um, just really liked the energy of that person. And actually, when people discover you for the first time, they have to know what solution they're getting. Like what is the exchange? What is gonna be at the end of this? So the clearer that you can be, whether you do a digital product, a membership, an online course, what is the endpoint? What is the postcode effectively that you're putting in the sat nav? Because if it's a bit vague, if it's a bit flowery and a bit roundabout, and it's like you might get this or you might get that, you're leaving people sort of effectively just wandering around going, I'm not really, we've all been to those things, haven't we? Where you're like, I'm not really sure where we're supposed to be. Are we supposed to go in there? We, like weddings, you know, you want to be signposted, especially after a couple of Proseccos. You know, you don't want to be like, do we sit down? Can we take our coats off? Is there a drink? Are we going to get fed soon? It's kind of like that with your online course, with your digital program. What is the end result that some people are going to get? And sometimes that is about creating different things. So really niching down. So it could be that you do a masterclass on something really specific. So for example, social media, I was working with somebody the other day and she was talking about, um, she's a social media strategist, she's an expert, she does all kinds of brilliant things. And there were certain things that she was like, actually, the whole shebang of social media, it's too big. And if I can break this down, yes, of course, people can bundle the things together, but I've got to be really clear about what I'm offering. The next thing that I want to say before you make decisions is consider your audience. Not only like where they are and what they're doing and what their habits are and what's happening. So there are some people that I know that just like being woken up at 6 a.m. and having a call with a coach every single morning, it might not be the one. I remember interviewing a coach when Oscar was about six months old and I was ready to kind of like get back in and sort of figure things out a bit. And he was like, what time does your son get up in the morning? I was like, which which time? which time uh well you know sometimes he'll like at five o'clock like i might feed him back to sleep and then you know who knows really and he was like great you need to get up at four then i was like oh no no i can't do that because i've been up at 11 12 2 3 you know how it is so considering your audience and really making something that's going they're gonna love that they're going to get massive results from but they're not going to feel like it's completely impossible. They're going to feel like they're going to be able to move forward because then what you're doing is matching it and going, this is the perfect thing for you. This is going to be really doable. It's going to um, be able to help you in that moment. So even though sometimes the temptation can be, because this might come up, let me know if this resonates, to give people everything, like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna do this. And sometimes when I see those online courses and they're like, and here are nine different bonuses and you are gonna get over 14 hours of content and you're gonna come to a nine day event in Colorado and you're gonna do that and it's like, that's lovely, but I can't go to Colorado right now. I mean, I well, I'd go maybe for the flight, that would be lovely. But knowing who your audience are, making something that's gonna really work with their needs is gonna be a great thing. Also consider the size of your audience. Um, size does not matter, um, but it maybe does in this instance. So there are all kinds of stats of like, how many people convert. So if you have, I don't know, 100 people, like 2% will convert. If you want to make 20 sales, you can quickly do the maths and you can figure out what that's going to be and what that's going to look like. So even though people will want to tell you, like, just do these things because online courses are all the rage, I sound like, like my nana, they're all the rage, Nick, those online courses um, at the moment. 
if you don't have the audience or if you don't have the people who are ready to buy, maybe you need to do a smaller investment, for example. Maybe you need to bring people in in different ways. So the temptation can be like, oh, I just point and press this and it's gonna be fine. Actually, it will take a little bit longer maybe. And certainly notice, like I started with a nine, um, nine pound product. And even then I was like, oh my God, do you think people will pay for this? because it's nine pounds and you know I really was was cautious about it and now I know that people buy my signature program which is um yeah a thousand pounds anyway so um okay this is an interesting one as well make sure that your choices in terms of the digital stuff match your money goals so when I did the membership that membership at the beginning of 2018 that had two people in that I stopped on month two. Brilliant. So I think it was 19.99, And um, yeah, so I made a total of just under 80 quid and I refunded all the money. So that was a huge success. But if I was thinking about, say, whatever my money goal was at the time, I'd have to sell a lot of 20 pound things in order to get that up. And in order to get that audience, because I didn't have that audience, I'd probably have to pay for some advertising or I would have to be using my time all the time to generate all of those things. So I think sometimes you have to be quite realistic about what your money goals are and how you can follow um, creating something that's going to get you there much easier. So sometimes it is about taking out a piece of paper and a pen and um, and doing the maths and, and doing that. So a lot of people talk about this 10 grand a month thing. This is a, like a real coachy like, oh, I, I was nothing and now I'm earning 10 grand a month. Well, if I do that on a basic thing of say my, so my um, signature course is like £1,000, but you can do three payments of 497 So, um, or there's a six months um, thing of 266 Um But if I'm working on that basis of cash in, you know, cash flow, let's talk the numbers. If I was going for that 10 grand a month, thinking I only need to sell, I only need to sell, but 10 of the thousand pounds will give me the 10,000 a month. We're not talking profit and turnover here. I'm just doing it for the example of numbers. Um, that is, that sounds bizarrely much more doable than thinking about how many 20 pound courses that I would need to sell. So sometimes the temptation can be to do something lower, to do something that you're trialing out. But if I go back again to my values and the things that are important to me right now, I'm sort of interested in like, how can I make this the easiest way possible? And also another thing that I should say, which I haven't written on my list, but I'm going to say it because it's popped into my head. We sometimes think it's easier to sell a low cost product. We think that it's easier, like, oh, it's 10 pounds. Oh, most people will have 10 quid, it will be fine. But if you're trying to align all the time, and again, when I'm thinking about ease and flow and the clients that I wanna work with and the results and all of that sort of stuff, ultimately, I wanna work with people who are like, I am all in, I'm excited, I wanna do the work, I wanna do that. And sometimes that requires a greater investment because how many times have you been given for example a leaflet on the street that has like a coupon on the back and you might have just looked at it and been like mm, yeah sure whatever but if you know that you're like going on a special dinner and you're going to have this and there's a taster menu and there's all these sorts of stuff you're going to really be embraced in the experience because you've invested in it you've made a discerning choice you've made a commitment to yourself to be able to do that so even when you're thinking and some ideas might be popping in your head right now of like mm, yeah maybe it is this maybe it's a membership maybe it's that whenever you get that voice that old voice of like yeah, I'll just ask, what shall I do? Like a fiver, maybe, um, oh, will people pay a fiver? Maybe three ninety nine 99 a month. It, you, you don't want it to be priced so low that people don't have to think about it. 
So it's like, oh yeah, I paid for that this month, but like I didn't attend any of the things and I didn't do anything. Like I know when I'm working with my coach, when that direct debit goes out and it's on the 28th of um, every month, peeps, I know, wow, this is, and I, every month I go, what have I done with that? Have I, have I really maximized it? Yes, is often the answer. Yes, because I'm investing at that kind of level. So being really clear about matching it to your money goals will just help streamline everything and, and make it really sort of workable for you. Also, be clear about, what have I said? Be clear about the expectations. So what is the process going to be like and how can you make this work for your lifestyle? So for example, I did an event in June called, and I did one in July as well, called Jam and Plan. And I know that a lot of my clients feel really in, or a lot of people, for example, in my field, feel really inspired and motivated and like, oh my God, I can totally do this. Hopefully you'll feel like this after our conversation today. And then they leave it, they leave the session and they're like, oh, okay, I don't know where to start. I don't know what, mm, can I do this? Oh, I'll deal with it later. I'm not really sure what that is. And I know because I do this with my one-to-one um, -one clients, that accountability of, hiya, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm working on. This is what I've taken away. This is where I've put my notes. This is what I've scribbled off my list. This is what I'm no longer doing anymore because it doesn't make sense. That accountability afterwards is invaluable because you do the things that you say that you're going to do or that you want to do. And this is kind of connecting to my final point, which is whatever your digital product is, whatever, it, whether it's a membership, whether it's whatever it is, your aim, one of your aims high up should be that people complete the process. What you never want to do is sell online course, sell packages, sell things that people dabble in, that they do like module one or module two and then they kind of forget about it. Because what happens is by the end of it, people haven't experienced the whole thing. So until people have experienced it, you're maybe not going to get that testimonial or you're not going to get that person referring you going, oh my God, I did this thing of Nikki Rabies, like it was great. Oh, and I did this and this was my turning point and this is what happened and like, oh, I wasn't sure about module three because it really challenged me, etc. And that's when you're going to have momentum in your business. For me also as well, it's about integrity. It's about people absorbing my content, my information, and being able to do something with it. So being connected to the the outcome, being connected to the person who actually did the thing going forward. So being really clear about what you're offering and how your the journey, I guess, that you're getting people from, from A to B. So what you can do when you're thinking about these things is when you're putting something together, so I knew, for example, with the Jam and Plan stuff, I knew a lot of people, certainly in lockdown, super busy, juggling kids, juggling partners, juggling work, feeling anxious, fear, not knowing what's going to happen with their business, worried about money. And I suddenly thought, what if I could put together something that was four hours, so it was very deliberate, but also all recordable, so if suddenly you had to go and put your kid down for a sleep, absolutely, go and do that. But the golden bit was that accountability, that moment of somebody, actually it happened one night in the June thing, where somebody voice noted me and was like, I've just had a test. I've had a test. Somebody's asked me to work for free and I wrote on my list after doing the day to day that I wasn't going to work for free anymore. And I got the test immediately having, you know, and sometimes I think the temptation, especially when you're consuming content online is that you're listening to something else, you're doing the housework and you're not implementing it. So I guess that's another thing that I want to say is, are you going to be able to make, not make, encourage, support people to do the things that you're supporting them with? So it could be um, a weekly check-in with them. It could be um, asking.
asking them to become accountable in some kind of way. Like with my coach, I have to um, I have to fill out a form every single Friday and let her know what I've been doing, what's been going on, and um, what's been useful, how much money I made, all of that sort of stuff. So what you can do is knowing your client, knowing how you like to work, knowing what your specific set of skills and talents and technology and all the rest of it, you can build a bespoke package that your ideal client are going to love. And this is going to be really important going forward because not only does it make you stand out in the market and um, it it makes you feel really creative and exciting because you're making something work for you, people are going to notice what you're doing. And also it puts you in that position of being the expert. I don't like it sometimes when I can see what if somebody's just copied and pasted somebody's idea or if they're like yeah just do a group program yeah and sell it at this and do this and you know because it's not coming from that place of it being about them it's not personalized in that way so um how was that has anybody got any questions fire away if you do i'm very happy to answer anything i don't know if there's a question box there is questions from your viewers will be uh okay yeah you can write it in the box actually below or you can write it in here and just let me know if there's anything um coming up for you or um any doubts or anything you want to kind of brainstorm oh i'm so glad thank you um there is another jam and plan live um coming August, oh, I'm so glad, thank you, on August the 18th, um, today is the final day for the payment program, um, so you can do it as a whole thing or you can do two payments, but because of the way of the dates working, um, today I'm going to take the payment pro, um, payment plan down, so if you do want to join, um, otherwise after that it will just be paying full option, but yeah, the jam and plan has been great mind and pricing and value, I hear you you yeah believe me friends I have learned the hard way so true to being true to you it's tempting to try out all the things but I know things are not for me no they're really not um and actually if you can listen to yourself and if you can get quiet and if you can try and turn off what everybody else is doing that's that's when you're going to be able to get the combination and, and show up as you it, it's really interesting in this personal brand space of everybody suddenly having to become an expert and sell what they do. It's a skill that you have to refine. It's a skill that, um, it's a muscle that you have to work basically. And it doesn't come naturally. You know, I, I still get the fear of like, oh my God, will anybody turn up? Will it, will anybody like, you know, we we're human beings, we're all happening. Passive income, oh yeah, oh yeah, totally. But can you imagine if people were like, hi Nikki, I can't actually download this thing. Can you let me know? No, I can't because I'm on a bouncing ball screaming. <laughs> I've been for the last 20, 72 hours or whatever it was. Um, but I think also another thing I want to say about passive income and making these things work for you is you're going to be able to have that flexibility in terms of your in terms of your income coming in. And one thing I've realized, well, I'm very passionate about women earning money and having flexibility. And I think sometimes when I speak to people, they're like, if I could just pay my half of the bills, or if I could just put my kid in childcare two days a week and you know know that that's covered, then that's enough. And do you know what? I'm just like, now is the time to like have more say and more money and more autonomy over I don't know <laughs> can you tell I'm a bit tired and emotional but more autonomy over like contributing and showing up and stuff like that because this is the temptation always is as women we are programmed to be nice all the time can you just could you just do this could you just speak to this person on the phone could you just let me know um this in your dms could you just run through this thing like i helped my dad set up his zoom account the other day because he's got um, he's got two sisters and uh, a brother, and they use it all the time. I mean, my dad's sixty six, you know, but well, 
I haven't said his age on the internet, but yeah. Um, but I'm happy to set up my dad's Zoom account. Absolutely. But it, there will be people, and I get them all day, every way. Can you share this? Can you do this? Can you do this? And now what I've done is I've managed to get to a point, and again, I'm not saying that it's been easy. It's taken hard work. It's taken carving out time in my diary. I can put that stuff together for somebody, and they can experience it. And also the fact that they've paid for it, they're going to... Um, consume it and take care of it and all that sort of stuff. And I was saying about this in a, to a client the other day, um, somebody in my family is very well, uh, very well connected. It makes her sound like she's a major celebrity. Um, and um, yes, let me come back to you in just one sec. Um, yeah, that she's she's always got like a friend and she she lives abroad so she's like oh so and so's sister's friend who I was at university with who did this can they get on the phone and this would happen much more about um my um like when I was starting out as an actor like so and so's friend's daughter wants to be it can they can they phone you and ask your advice and so often they weren't ready for me, which sounds incredibly arrogant, but they go, I go, great. So what are your questions then? Because I had that in the back of my head that I was growing up in a small village and I didn't know anybody and I wasn't connected. So if I got the opportunity to speak to somebody who might know some of the information that I wanted, I like, I had my list of questions like, hello, yes, I just wondered if you could answer this and I don't know and da 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 da. And what would happen is I'd get on the phone and because they weren't paying for it, they'd be like, oh, I don't know, yeah, like, do you want to just tell me, just tell me about you? And I was like, I haven't really got time for that. So, um, yes. Does this approach work for business to business markets? Yes. Tell me what you, um, tell me what you do more and I'll be able to advise a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, but essentially, yes, there will be things that there will be processes, there will be systems, there will be things that you will be able to share without you being in the room. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot of this in the August Jam and Plan Live. So there are four um, sessions in that. The first is like the clarity and reflection, as in like, are you actually building a business that suits your lifestyle? Or marketing for architects and engineers Yes. Oh, okay. So, um, marketing for architects and engineers. Yeah, I think it's about thinking what is the solution that you're going to be providing? So there could be something in terms of you creating something that they would be able to use themselves as in a formula or a system that the architects could do stuff. So say you might have an architect coming to you going, I'm very much in the early stages of my business or I've graduated because architects are, you know, often in debt, aren't they, when they come out because it's so long. Um, you could, I guess, do like a starter pack, like a do-it-yourself version that they could work through themselves, kind of sharing your tips and your techniques and how to get going. Um, yeah, that could be something. So for example, I have a, in my 20 pound shop, I have a training about pricing and um, I have another one about attracting your um, clients and your customers. So um, people could do that by themselves, but equally that solution, that thing that they're looking at, I do that in my one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. So, um, yeah, that's it, it's much of the same thing, but it's about a much more specific thing. So it could be that you kind of give them the basics, you give them a bit of a framework that they can start to work through. And then I guess this is the moment that you really come in in terms of being specific and giving really um, tailored advice, bespoke advice. So yeah, that, that could work. But um, if you've got more questions, just DM me and I'll, I'll voice note you back. Um, Yes, so Jam and Plan Live, it's four sessions. Um, the first is about clarity and reflection because this is the thing people will tell you. I always say, like, I'm a ginger person. I should not be working on a beach. Like, I don't have the coordination to figure out the computer, the drink, the freckles, the potential 
for burning like no I shouldn't be doing that so this is very much about building a business that's going to work for your current lifestyles as well um the second one is all about money um and this is a really juicy one because it helps you create that pricing menu like that's going to work for you so I know there are some people there are some coaches that go right I want to earn a hundred grand this year I'm going to offer 10 people um a package at 10 grand well that doesn't necessarily work for me because I know for somebody to invest ten thousand pounds you've got to have that that's completed sales isn't it so how many leads would you need in order to bring those things in so at the moment having the, this robust pricing schedule for me works really well so um yeah the second session is on money the third is about be it don't sell it so um I think it's really important to really figure out like how you're how you're selling stuff like where are you sending people are you maximizing stuff um, how can you make it easy for people to make a decision and the third is about visibility so um, this week I hit a hundred thousand downloads on my podcast and I've been making videos since 2012 so visibility has been a big one in terms of my business and um, even though I still sort of say proudly like I've never paid for marketing, I probably will at some point because I'm ready to go to that next level now. But there will be so many things in terms of visibility that you will be able to do um, that are just able, that you can do yourself that are all about you showing up and you um, finding your own way of selling and um, providing value and all that sort of stuff and actually you want to get to this stage where people feel like they really know you and a lot of the people um, that I've known over the years like it's really lovely when you get to meet people in real life because you're like oh good you're the same yeah um, great okay well if there's no more questions um, or you're welcome to DM me um, let me know and um, thank you so much for being part of it today I really appreciate it I hope it's been you Useful. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing this in your stories, if you found it useful um, and just tagging me, um, then more people can watch it and enjoy it and all of that stuff. And um, any questions, DM me. Uh, if you want to come to Jam and Plan Live, it's on August the 18th. You get a full day um, with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, you get a full day with me and then also you get a week of email support um with me and then we have like a final session the following week so we're all accountable and we tell each other what we've done and what we're working on that email support with me is on voice note on whatsapp so you can go oh my god i'm about to send that scary email nikki what do you think will you just have a peek and will you just tell me i'm brilliant yes it'll be fine um but the one final thing that i'm going to share today oh so so on the jam and plan live um yeah you can go it's just under my live events on my website nikkiraby.com one thing I'm going to say is set yourself a deadline. What are you going to do with the information that I've shared with you today? What are you going to implement? How are you going to carve out time to explore this further? Because this is the temptation that you consume the content and you're like, oh gosh, yeah, that was really interesting. That was good. But now it's about doing stuff. Now it's about making some decisions, making some moves. All very interesting food for thought. I think my internet crashed, so apologies if I'm secretly leaving early. Nice to see you, Joe. It was lovely. Um, yeah, so what are you going to do with it? Carve out the information. Even though we somehow think that that lottery number, you know, the big, fi like the finger coming down of like, it's you or it's time for you to stop like doing passive income now and it's all going to be laid out and you're know, going to know exactly what I'm doing. It's not. It's not going to happen. It's going to happen from you deciding and going, right, Sunday afternoon, two hours, me and my pen and paper, I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to get going and I'm going to get moving. That's what's going to help. That's that's how you're going to do it and build it. Um, also as well, I will send you the Podia um, referral code if that would be useful. You can have a little look at it and, and see what you think. I've also done another video on it. So um, yeah, I will say goodbye. I'm going to have my lunch because we've all been up since 5 a.m. And um, sorry if you're just joining, but I'm going to save this right now and you can watch it whenever you like. Big love to you all. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.